Hey Libra, welcome back to my channel, Queen of All the Traders, you're going to be Supermodel, and today I have your February monthly 2019 reading, okay? Um, I don't really have any major announcements to make other than um, the fact that you guys will be seeing me screenshotting um, on my phone throughout the reading because I'm going to be screenshotting the songs that you that I have playing in my on my phone, okay? Um, the reason why I'm not playing these songs out loud for you guys to hear is because of copyright issues, Okay. Um, so I'm going to go right on the head and shuffle um, for your energy and get your reading set up. And there is a link um, right in the description where you guys can go straight to and jump right ahead to the reading. Okay. And also, um, please listen to the songs that I put that I put um, in the description box for you guys. Okay. Because these songs will specifically um, relate to your situation. Okay. Like I'm 100% sure. That is going to do it, else I wouldn't be wasting my time doing this, okay? So you can go right on ahead and skip to, um, you know, click on the link in the description to where the reading actually starts. I time stamped it already. Um, or you can just sit and watch me do the process, okay? You guys make me feel a lot passionate, okay? Hey, don't make too much noise. There's a lot of people that live around here. <laughs> This leave us What is the person that Libra is thinking about? What's going on with? What is that current energy? Uh, what is the past energy of the situation? Please and thank you. What is the current situation? Just linking the two together. Thank you. Current energy. Um, what is the future energy? Please and thank you. And what is the outcome? Please and thank you for the whole situation. All over the place. I tell them no. I'm not feeling it. Crazy. Girl, people are calling me out. Take we know that you be fast Wait for you, and you're inside my mind, and I love the way you feel, and I love the way you feel. Let's say, Amos, we have the Lima, please, and thank you for February. Let's just say, we have the Lima, please, and thank you for February. This one is just sitting in the middle. This 
see if I see any really happy people too. Happy birthday. Okay, so Libra, Libra, Libra. All right, so you guys' overall energy, okay, currently for the month is the King of Cups, okay? Um, so you guys are definitely, you know, very emotional. And then at the bottom of the deck here, we have the um, Three of, um, of Coins, okay? So you guys, you know, have a lot of emotions, you know, for someone and you guys um, may definitely want to work together with somebody, okay? Um, or collaborate with somebody, all right? Um, so the current energy, your current energy, Libra, is the Four of Cups, okay? The person that you're thinking about or dealing with, that current energy is the um, hanged, the hanged man. The past energy is the Two of Cups. Um, the nine of um, wands, I mean, the nine of swords is the present energy. The future energy, we have the five of um, wands. And then for the outcome, we have the page of cups, okay? Yeah, so I definitely see that you guys have a lot of um, a lot of emotion, you know, with a collaboration, you know, that you're making right now, um, some type of partnership here. But let's go to your current energy here. So we have the Four of Cups. So if you guys could be contemplating some things, okay, um, thinking about things, meditating, you know, just pondering things, okay, um, and trying to gather your thoughts, you know, your emotions. Why is this Four of Cups? Okay, um, yeah, you ponder some things. This fell out on reverse, okay, the Eight of Swords. So you don't want to be trapped in the situation anymore, okay? Um, so you're thinking about, you know, not being trapped in the situation or opening up communication. Um, we have the Nine of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So, you know, this is something that's definitely going to make you happy. Um, if communication is open back up or if you're not feeling trapped and bound to a situation, okay? The Nine of Cups came right back out. Yeah, this is going to make you happy, not feeling trapped and bound in a situation. Okay. Yeah, this is going to make you guys happy. Um, So you're contemplating, okay? You're meditating and pondering, okay? Um, Because you don't want to be stuck in the situation anymore. You know, you just want to be happy. You want your wishes fulfilled. Um, You could be... Um, you know, there could be no communication, but you maybe want communication open, okay? Um, I do see that, you know, somebody is definitely putting a lot of work in, okay, in this situation. Let me screenshot this song. Because you're the only one for me. So the way that the person that you're thinking about, okay, that current energy is the hangman. So they're definitely looking at things from a different perspective here, okay? How is this hanging in here? You know, they're trying to gain some type of alignment um, in the situation. We have the um, the Knight of um, Swords here. So, you know, um, it's like they're trying to see things in a different perspective. They're not trying to you know, because I think they feel like things was moving too fast um, in the situation. Or, you know, they just want to focus on themselves, possibly. Could be dealing with a Virgo. Um, another sign I had is where things was moving too quickly. I think it was, it was actually Gemini. It was Gemini. But 
but you're just in a place where you just want to love someone. Um, yeah, and someone wants to move quickly towards you, okay, passionately. This person has a lot of passion for you. You guys, listen to these songs that I'm going to put in, in a description that I'm listening to you right now. This is what I'm screenshotting. Listen to these songs. These songs are definitely going to resonate with your reading. I'm telling you, they almost 100% do, okay? Uh, my, the way this energy is feeling, I'm flowing through you. Yeah, 100% sure. Okay, so the person that you're thinking about, you know, they're definitely, you know, looking at things from a different perspective, okay? Um, and they want to move towards you quickly, okay? Um, they want to communicate towards you quickly. Um, and also, you know, the passion that they have with you, you know, while they're in this hangman position right now, you know, all this passion and energy and everything, you know, is moving through their mind pretty quickly, you know, um, and they, they really want to move, you know, towards you quickly, um, but they're just trying to balance out their thoughts here yeah, with the um, two of coins at the bottom of the deck, okay? They could be dealing with, um, they could be dealing with an Aquarius, okay? Um, Aquarius or a um, Aries. Or someone that has these in that shot or towards Virgo Capricorn. So in the past, we have the Two of Cups, okay? So this was a relationship here, okay? Um, there was definitely love here in the past. There was definitely a relationship. It looks like something could have ended because of this seen a Ten of um, Swords. Or it could have been a betrayal. Or it definitely could have been just like an ending. Yeah, and it could have ended due to some toxic, toxic situ um, situation, some type of codependency or something like that. But I do see somebody, um, you know, thinking about this person, okay? I've seen the card of Scorpio, which is the death card, and I've seen the Ten of Swords. So there was most likely definitely an end in this relationship due to um, some some toxic energy, okay? And somebody is definitely missing somebody um, with this Six of um, Cups here, okay? They want a victory. You know, they definitely want a victory with someone. But you guys may be on break right now, okay? Or... or um, that could be a breakup, okay? So the current energy we have for the both of you guys, you know, that's, that's bringing you between the two of you is the Nine of Swords. I mean, yeah, the Nine of Swords because this person has the Hangman and you have the Four Cups, okay? And in between the, the Four Cups and the, um, the Hangman is the Nine of Swords energy, okay? So if somebody is worried, stressed out, you know, in their mind, okay, most likely about this, you know, connection, okay, this partnership, this, this could be a twin flame connection, okay, we can begin with a Gemini, why is this nine of um, swords here, please, yeah, because there was some type of mind games, okay, um, somebody want to get over past these mind games, it's definitely mind games, and you just, Keep looking back, you know, at what it is. And they just want a victory with this person, okay? But so somebody is definitely feeling heartbroken, okay? They're feeling hurt. Definitely feeling hurt. That's why you have the emotions. You know, you have a lot of emotions for this person, you know, overall. Like, this is, you, you're very emotional right now, um, Libra. Very emotional. Yeah, um, that was just like a secret or something going on. Or you needed some type of clarity, okay? Um, in a situation, and you just needed to be left alone, okay, so that you can figure some things out, or well, somebody needs to be left alone, this is why this person currently, okay, this is why this person, this person is currently in this hangman position, okay, um, or this could be your energy, but this is in your partners, or person that you're thinking about calling, okay, so this is the reason why they wanted to be left alone, um, so they can see things in a clear light, you know, we have the hermit here now, they just want to be left alone, because they just want to get some clarity, okay, and clear their mind um, about some situation, about the situation. They definitely have a passion for you, okay, um, and they definitely want to come towards you. They definitely want to open communication up, because um, this is like fast-moving energy here. Um, or maybe they're trying to think, see things in a different perspective because they feel like things are moving too fast between the two of you, okay, or you may feel the same way. You know what? Y'all go watch the... Um, Go watch the Le um, was it Leo or Cancer. It was either Leo or Cancer or Gemini. Watch them readings. One of the readings. I'm telling you, this is something similar to what was going on in that reading. Okay. Um, 
But basically, somebody is stressed out and worried. Yo, you know, this is worrying you guys, okay? A lot of worrying and stress was going on because there was definitely a lot of mind games. And you guys definitely want a victory, okay? But somebody, you know, needs to gain some type of clarity um, before they can move forward, you know, with this nine of cups here, okay? And before they can move forward with this passionate energy. Um, and they just going within, you know, um, being to themselves. You can be dealing with the cancer, okay? You can definitely be dealing with the cancer here. And that's why they just want to, somebody just want to be alone so they can, you know, clear their mind and get some type of clarity here, okay? And that could be you as well. Or that's both of you guys, you know, being alone so that you guys can think. Okay, you thinking and they thinking. You know, they trying to you guys are trying to see things in you know in a different perspective, you know, because there was definitely some negative stuff going on in the past in your relationship, okay? Um that caused some type of ending, okay, or breakup. So in the future we have the um five of wands, okay, so this is talking about arguments, fussing and fighting. Okay, arguments, disagreements. You know, fussing and fighting. Watch this five of wands here. Watch this five of wands here for Libra. Make the vision of us don't Yeah, there was a lot of conflict and arguments of us in the fight and because someone walked away from the situation, from this partnership. Okay, this Gemini card is coming back up, the Gemini twins are coming right back up. Somebody walked away from this partnership, okay? Somebody walked away for somebody that they love, or somebody walked away from this love, okay? From this union. This is definitely a spiritually, um, this is definitely a soulmate connection, okay? Because we have the um, Two of Cups here, and we have the Gemini Twins. This is definitely, you know, a union that's meant to be. But in the future, I see this conflict because, you know, somebody walked away from this partnership. And somebody is feeling sad. Somebody's going to definitely be feeling sad and lost. And look what comes right back up, the Gemini Twins. Okay? Somebody's feeling sad and lost, okay, about this partnership, this union. You know, the loss of this union. I'm just going to take it out. This is a twin flame situation. Okay? This is right at the bottom of the deck. This is my 1111 twin flame card. Okay? This is the home, the community. But this is definitely the twin flame, okay? Sitting right on top of the lovers. Okay, so in the future, I do see that there's going to be conflicts here, okay, because somebody's going to keep walking away, you know, from this from this love situation. This is definitely a divinely guided situation here, yeah. um, a partnership. Yeah, and somebody's just protecting themselves, you know, being on guard. And then we have the page of cups here, you know, as the outcome. So that could be an apology or somebody could be falling in love with someone again. But based on what this is going on with the argument, fussing, the fighting, I do see that this could possibly be an apology, okay? Somebody's coming back, you know, to apologize. Well, hold up, y'all. So I just messed up the show shopping. Why is this page of cups here, please? Yeah, you, know, you have the judgment here, okay? So somebody is definitely coming back to apologize. This is definitely, you know, their final decision. This is definitely, you know, um, this is it. They didn't made up their mind. They made, Somebody made up their mind. They're going to come back and apologize to you, and they're going to come back and give equally in the situation, you know, with the six of um, coins here. Let me screenshot this song. You guys need to listen to these songs. I'm telling you, these songs are definitely resonating with this reading right now. I'm vibing really well. I wish I could play the songs, but, you know, they're going to be hitting me with these copywriting shit. And I've got time for that. Yep. Look, we got the wheel here. 
the wheel of fortune. This is telling me that this is this relationship is divinely guided. Every time I see this, it's divinely guided. Definitely, it's divinely guided. Trust me. You can be dealing with the Taurus, Aries, Aquarius, or Scorpio. Yep, because there was something that ended in this situation. You know, there was some there was an ending here. Definitely. You know, because somebody's trying to balance some shit out. You know, but it's saying for you guys to have strength, okay? We hear somebody trying to balance and juggle again, you know, balance out whatever. And, you know, it's saying for you guys to have strength, you know, in a situation. You know, even though you may be left out in the cold, this person, look. Even though you may be left out in the cold right now, this person is definitely um, thinking about you, you know. Definitely thinking about you, thinking about the memories. But, yeah. Um, yeah, somebody else want to come back and apologize, you know. Um, yeah, somebody definitely want to come back and apologize. And this is what they want, you know. This is... You know, they're finally going to make up their mind, okay? This is definitely divine work here at play, you guys. Anything else you can tell me, please? Your card was going to come out, Libra, which is the Queen of Swords. <laughs> Okay, I don't think they have anything else that we have to tell me. So, yeah, divine, it's definitely a divine timing, okay? Um, the, you know, it's definitely a divine timing. And, you know, it's going to be a kind of decision being made. Somebody is definitely going to come back and apologize, you know, you know, for all the arguments, okay? Um, you're going to get some type of clarity and truth, you know, in this situation, too. Um, yeah, but you guys definitely are feeling so emotional right now. So emotional. But it's saying for you guys to have, have strength, you know. Um, things are definitely going to work out. And if this is a soulmate connection, you know, a twinkling situation, it's definitely worth, um, you know, sticking in there um, through the thick and thin. I should know because I'm in a situation with my twin right now. Um, I don't even know if the motherfucker is awoke or not. I'm not even going to lie. But um, he could pretend. I think he could pretend in the hand. I don't know. I don't talk to him about it, you know, because I want him to discover it in his own way. It's just like, um, let me screenshot this on real quick. It's just like, um, you know, explaining to your children, you know, about Jesus. You know, like you want them to read the Bible, read the passages on their own so they can come to the conclusion, you know, that, you know, you know, about Jesus and what Jesus represent and things of that nature. You know, and then they can say they want to get baptized on their own. You know, I don't want to push them towards that. I want them to learn that. So when they do actually, you know, so they can go through the experience, it can be that much more meaningful. You see what I'm saying? So that's the reason why I haven't really talked to my twin about any of this. Because I don't really want to talk to him about this. Only because I want him to come up to this knowledge on his own. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want him to awaken on his own. Um, Yeah. The sun popped out. <laughs> yeah, and it's going to make you very happy in the end. Definitely. Yeah. The person will come back. Okay, they're going to make the final, they're going to make the choice, you know, to come back. It's divinely guided. Okay, and you guys are going to be happy in the end. So don't worry. Do not worry. Okay. They could be really making plans because I've just seen um, the Seven of Swords. They could be making plans, okay, sneakily. Uh, without letting you know that they're going to come back and apologize, okay? They could be just fronting and pretending like they ain't coming back towards you, but this is what they're thinking about in this hangman position, okay? They're thinking about all this passion that they have, with, um, have for you, okay? So they could be making a plan, you know, um, you know, coming up with some type of plan to come back and, um, you know, to come back and apologize, okay? Yeah, <laughs> I see them coming forward, you know, on that damn boat. You know, mentally, this is what they want to do, okay? Um, or they want to communicate this, you know, to you. Oh, here you go right here. It's coming right back out. Yeah, they're secretly devising a plan, you know, to come towards you. Um, and they're doing it in secret. And, you know, because they have so much love and compassion for you, Libra. It's telling you guys, that it's saying have hope and faith, okay? 
Have hope and faith in the spiritual union. <laughs> Have hope and faith in this union, you guys. It's saying that you want to get the mental truth, the mental truth required that you want, okay? That things are definitely going to be stable, okay? That's all I got for you guys. Oh, let me tell you. Um, so let's go through your advice. So for the romance angels, we got attraction. It says, um, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully, okay? You guys are definitely attracted to one another. Like, I, I see all the passion here. I definitely see all the passion. Then we have colony and soulmate. What did I just say? What did I say? Didn't I say that this is a soulmate twin flame connection? Call your soulmate in, boo. It says... Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help you bring to help bring you two together. This is definitely your soulmate. I said that all these soulmate cards, was, and definitely the, the indicator was the eleven eleven card and the wheel of fortune. When I see eleven eleven wheel of fortune and the um, Gemini twins, oh, you best believe that it's a soulmate connection. Okay, so yeah, call in and your soulmate, you guys. Call that person in. They're definitely going to come back towards you. And then we have healing family issues. So. When this person come back, okay, of course, there was a lot of arguments, you know, fussing and fighting in the situation because somebody walked away, you know, due to some type of toxic situations that was, you know, dealing with in the past, okay? So when this person come back, of course, you guys are going to have to sit down and you guys are going to have to heal these issues, okay, um, before you can actually reach this true, um, you know, happiness with this person, you know, and this nine of cups here, okay? So, yeah, you guys are going to definitely have to... Um, you know, have conversations so that you guys can heal, heal what has been broken, okay? Because I did see the sin, the sin of swords, so there was definitely something like devastating that happened, okay? And also, um, you know, it was definitely something that happened that was tragic, um, that was real devastating. Somebody could have had backstabbed someone, I don't know what, what that was, but it's just telling me that it was just toxic, some type of toxic codependent issue, but it's not really telling me much. You guys know, but I don't really know. Um, but it's saying heal these family issues. Let me screenshot this song. Okay, and it says um, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Okay, so you may have issues with like your relatives or something like that um, in the situation, but you know overall, just you know, open your heart to forgiveness. Okay, let's see what we got at the bottom of the deck for you guys. At the bottom of the deck, we have free yourself. It says it's time to. Take back control of your life, okay? And then the other advice that we have for you guys, it says, be truly glad. Be truly glad. There is wonderful joy ahead, okay? First Peter one first Peter one six. Yeah, there's definitely joy ahead. Look. You see this? Definitely joy ahead, you guys. This is definitely a soulmate connection. Look at this. This is all your future energy. Once you get past whatever this energy is that you're in right now. And then the next message we have is the Lord gives wisdom. Proverbs 2.6. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to tell you all the people that you have in your reading, and then I'm going to let you guys go. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so, and comment down below, okay? And let me know what you think about this reading here. So we have Leo here, Aries. Um, we got Leo, Aries, Taurus, um, Scorpio, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, a lot of fire energy, a lot of water energy, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, okay, a lot of fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay, um, we have air energy here, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, we have Pisces, um, Capricorn, more Scorpio Cancer Pisces, more air energy. Um, we have Taurus, Aquarius, more Scorpio Cancer Pisces, 
Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, Aquarius, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Cancer. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Yeah. I see a lot of fire, a lot of um, water. A lot of water here, a lot of fire, a lot of, um, definitely a lot of water and a lot of fire. Then we have air here too. I don't really see that much earth energy here at all. Um, I don't even see a damn pinnacle. Oh, we have this one. I'm pretty sure those are other pinnacles, but you know, mostly fire, air, and water I see here, okay? Okay, so this is it for you guys reading and I'll see you guys in my next video, okay?